Here's how to change the alternator and power steering belt on a 2005 Lexus ES330 with a V6 3.3 liter engine. Here's a diagram of the alternator belt. We need to release the pivot bolt at the top, bolt B, and also the pinch bolt at the bottom, bolt A, and then release bolt C, which is your tensioning bolt, and that'll allow the alternator to drop down and then we can pull off the belt. To release the tension on the alternator, we have to first release the pinch bolt at the bottom there, which is a 12 millimeter bolt. I'm going to use a ratchet and loosen that up. Next, I'm going to loosen up this pivot bolt at the top here. It's 14 millimeters. Once those two bolts are loosened up, I'm going to loosen the tensioning bolt, which is a 12 millimeter bolt down here until the belt tension becomes really slack. To get to the power steering belt, we're going to have to jack up the car and take off the wheel. Once the wheel is off, we got to remove this little splash guard. There's two 10 millimeter bolts that are holding it in. Here's a diagram of the power steering belt. We need to first loosen bolt A, which is your pivot bolt, and then bolt B, which is your tensioning bolt. Then the power steering pump will drop down and then we can peel off the belt. To loosen the power steering belt, we have to undo this pivot bolt that's on top of the power steering pulley. It's a 12 millimeter bolt, and my ratchet is on it right now. To undo the tension on the power steering belt, we have to release this 12 millimeter bolt, and then the power steering pump will pivot out of the way. Here's the old power steering belt and the new power steering belt. I got the new belt on. I use the screwdriver to pry it on. Next, I have to use this crowbar to wedge it in. Pull the pump down to tension that bolt to put tension on the power steering belt. Now we got enough tension on the belt. I gotta tighten up that 12 millimeter bolt at the back holding the power steering pump on that my ratchet is attached to. Here's the new belt compared to the old one. Probably easier if you try to put the belt on from the crank pulley instead of up at the alternator. Just use a screwdriver and pry it on. Gonna tighten up the tension. Tighten the bottom bolt down there. Finally, we're going to tighten the pivot bolt on the alternator belt. Once the belts are all tightened up, we can replace the splash guard. And two 10mm bolts.